Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar 2. As is our practice, we begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bharibharti Sanjari Harti Lilaya Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bharibharti Sanjari Harti Lilaya In this course we are studying the three important types of samasas in Sanskrit namely Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva. Currently we are focused on the study of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. This is a very important type of Samasa in Sanskrit. The structure of the Bahuvrihi Samasa can be briefly stated with the help of this following equation where we have x plus y generating xy. x and y both of them are independent entities in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent. The plus sign marked in between shows that both X and Y are semantically interrelated. The speaker of Sanskrit decides to merge them together and generate an output in the form of X, Y which is one unit. This one unit has three features. Aikarthya or Ekarthata, Aikapadya or Ekapadata, and Aikasvarya or Ekasvarata. As far as the Bahurihi Samasa is concerned, none of the two, neither X nor Y, is the head of this particular Samasa. Therefore, none of them is marked with the bold characters. In the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, the first member of the Samasa is the head. So it is marked in bold characters, that is X is marked in bold characters. In the Tatpurusha Samasa, the second member or the final member of the Samasa acts as the head. So Y is marked in bold characters. Nothing of the sort happens in the Bahuvrihi Samasa because the head of this Samasa lies outside of the Samasa itself, something like Z which is not part of X, Y. That is very significant as far as the Bahuvrihi Samasa is concerned. In the Ashtadhyayi, the Bahuvrihi Samasa is stated in different places. The Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras, that is the compound prescribing sutras, that is the sutras which lay down the conditions for the Samasa to take place, from 2 to 23 onwards up to 2 to 28. 2 to 23 is Shesho Bahuvrihi and 2 to 28 is Tenasaheti Tulya Yoge. Incidentally, 2 to 29 is Charthe Dvandvaha. Then the Samasanta Pratyaja Vidhayaka Sutras are stated from 54113 onwards up to 54160. And then the Swaravidhayaka Sutras are stated in 6.2. The very first sutra, Bahuvriha Prakritya Purva Padam 6.2.1 is a very good example. Then we have 6.2.106 onwards up to 6.2.120 is another section dealing with the Swaravidhayaka Sutras and similarly from 6 to 162 onwards up to 6 to 177 the Swaravidhayaka Sutras related to the Bahuvrihi Samasa are stated. Amongst these, we have already studied the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras and then we have also started studying the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras and we came up to 154 in the previous lecture. Now in this lecture we shall study 
the remaining sutras as far as the samasanta pratyayas are concerned and then as we noted that from 54128 we came straight to 54151 primarily because these sutras that come in between they are dealing with the samasanta adeshas and we shall be studying them too in the next lecture right now let us continue studying the samasanta pratyayas which are added at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa so far we have studied the that the suffix kap is to be added at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa stated by the sutra ura prabhrtibhya kap then we studied some more conditions nadritascha and sheshad vibhasha etc now from this sutra onwards we will see some sutras which negate addition of such a samasanta suffix as far as the bahurihi samasa is concerned. Let us study these sutras one by one. The first sutra is Na Saudnyayam. Na Saudnyayam. Meaning, in the bahurihi samasas, which denotes a term, the samasanta pratyaya kap, that is ka, is not added. I repeat, in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which denotes a term, the Samasanta Pratyaya Kap is not added. This is the negation of the previous statement 54154, which we have studied in the previous lecture. So we have the examples Vishwa Devaha and Vishwa Yashaha. Let us study them one by one. So one who has all gods, that is the meaning to be conveyed and the Laukika Vigraha is Vishve Deva Yasya Saha. This Samasa is affected by the Sutra Anekam Anyapadarthe. And then the Alaukika Vigraha would be Vishva plus Jas plus Deva plus Jas. Then the Pratyavadika Saudhnya takes place. The Samasa Saudhnya has already taken place but now here we don't apply the Samasanta Pratyaya Kap therefore we keep it as it is and then the Pratipadika Saudhnaya takes place then Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and so we have Vishwa plus zero plus Deva plus zero when we join both of them together we get the form Vishwa Deva similarly one who has all success when this meaning is to be conveyed we have the Laukika Vigraha Vishwam Yashaha Yasya Saha Vishwam Yashaha Yasya Saha so the Alaukika Vigraha over here would be Vishwa plus Su plus Yashas plus Su. And then the cup suffix is not added here. The Samasa Saudhnya has taken place and then the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place and then Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies. So we have Vishwa plus zero plus Yashas plus zero. And then when we join them together, we get the form Vishwa Yashas. Remember, there is no Samasanta Pratyaya added because of 54155, which says Na Saudhnyayam. Because these are the Saudhnyas, these are the technical terms, and therefore the Samasanta Pratyaya is not added over here in this Bahuvrihi Samasa. Let us move to the next sutra, Iyasascha 5.4.156. This sutra means that in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which ends in the suffix es, the Samasanta Pratyaya Kap is not added. I repeat, in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which ends in the suffix es, the Samasanta Pratyaya Kap is not added. Once again, this is also the negation of 5.4.154. The word es mentioned in the sutra represents the suffix es or esun stated by the sutra dvivachana vibhajyopapade tara biyasunau 5.3.57 and this suffix es denotes the comparative degree. So here is an example. One who has many distinguished females, if this meaning is to be conveyed, so we have 
द लौकिक विग्रह बव्या श्रेयस्य यस्य सह बव्या श्रेयस्य यस्य सह एंड सो वी हैव द अलौकिक विग्रह बव्ही प्लस जस प्लस श्रेयसी प्लस जस नाउ हियर वी मे हैव एडेड द समासांत प्रत्यय कप बट बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंट सूत्र यश्च द समासांत प्रत्यय इज नॉट एडेड एंड सो वी हैव ब व्ही प्लस जस प्लस श्रेयसी प्लस जस देन समास संज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस देन प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस देन सुपोधातु प्रातिपदिक योग अप्लाइज सो वी हैव ब व्ही प्लस जीरो प्लस श्रेयसी प्लस जीरो एंड देन द पोमत भाव एप्लीकेशन टेक्स प्लेस विच ट्रांसफॉर्म्स ब व्ही इंटू बहु सो वी हैव बहु प्लस जीरो प्लस श्रेयसी प्लस जीरो and then when we join them together we get the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output bahu shreya c this is in masculine now bahu shreya c plus su and then we delete this su pratyaya so we get the form bahu shreya c the prathama ekavachana of the masculine form of bahu shreya c ending in long e this is discussed in detail in the derivations of the nominal declensions studied in the paninian grammar which is also known as the section on shadlingi the next question is because this is a bahuvrihi samasa where both the constituents are upasarjana why is the final long e not being shortened on account of the sutra gostriya upasarjanasya and the answer is provided in the form of a statement which says yaso bahuvrihir na shortening of the final vowel in the uttarapada is not done it is prohibited therefore it is not shortened so we get the form bahushreyasi the masculine form of the word next we go to the next sutra 5.4.157 vandite bhratuh वंदिते भ्रातु द मीनिंग इज इन द बहुव्रीही समास विच एंड्स इन द वर्ड भ्रातृ वेन इट डिनोट्स द सेंस ऑफ वर्शिप द समासांत प्रत्यय कप इज नॉट एडेड आई रिपीट इन द बहुव्रीही समास विच एंड्स इन द वर्ड भ्रातृ वेन इट डिनोट्स द सेंस ऑफ वर्शिप द समासांत प्रत्यय कप इज नॉट एडेड दिस इज द निगेशन ऑफ नृतश्च 5.4.153. So what is वंदिता? The commentators say वंदिता स्तुता पूजिता इत्यच्छते. वंदिता is one who is praised, one who is worshipped, is वंदिता. Let us look at the example. When the meaning to be conveyed is शोभन भ्राता ये सह वन हूज ब्रदर इज वर्शिप्ड द लौकिक विग्रह इज शोभन भ्राता ये सह एंड देन द अलौकिक विग्रह इज सु प्लस सु एंड भ्र प्लस भ्रातृ प्लस सु नाउ हियर द समास संज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस बिकॉज ऑफ अनेक अन्य पदार्थे एंड देन बाय द सूत्र न दृतश्च वी मे एड द सफिक्स कप ओवर हियर बिकॉज the word bhratru ends in ru but because of the present sutra vandite bhratuhu the samasant pratyaya is not added because su as a pratipadika here means shobhana which is talking good about the brother worshipped brother so this is pujita vandita and therefore we have su plus su plus bhratru plus su samasa saudnya takes place so for that pratipadika yoho applies so we have su plus 0 plus bhratru plus 0 and so we get the finally derived compound output in the form of su bhratru now we use it in the sentence and we add the suffix su after it so we have su bhratru plus su and then we do the further processing and we get the form su bhrata as the prathama ekavachana of su bhratru it's a long process when we have so bhratru plus su 
and then there is anang that gets substituted in place of ru. So we have subha, subhratan plus su, and then su, because of su, the penultimate vowel gets lengthened. So subhratan plus su, then su gets deleted, and we have only subhratan, and then na gets deleted, and we get the form subhrata. In contrast, when we say on whose brother is a fool, murkaha bhrata yasya saha, so here we don't do the negation of the samasanta pratyaya, rather we do the samasanta pratyaya. So we have murkha, bhratru and ka and when we join them together, we get the samasanta output as murkha bhratruka. Similarly, one whose brother is wicked, if this is the meaning to be conveyed, then we get the fun compound form dushta bhratruka, dushtaha bhrata yasya saha. Here we do add the samasanta pratyaya ka because the word bhratu here does not stand for vandita or pujita. Then we go to the next sutra 5.4.158 which is rutas chandasi. The sutra means in the bahuvrihi samasa which ends in the vowel ru, the samasanta pratyaya cup is not added in the veda. I repeat, in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which ends in the vowel ru, the Samasanta Pratyaya cup is not added in the Veda. This is the negation of Nadritascha 5.4.153. And this is a rule of the Vedic language, the language available in the Vedas. Here is an example. One whose mother is killed, if this is the meaning to be conveyed, then we have the Laukika Vigraha, Hata Mata Yasya Saha. And the Alaukika Vigraha would be Hata plus Su plus Matru plus Su. Now because the word Matru ends in Ru, Nadritascha might apply and we can add the suffix Ka perhaps, but because of this present Sutra, Rutas Chandasi, we don't add any suffix Ka over here. And so we have Hata plus Su plus Matru plus Su then we apply the sutra supodhatu pratibhadika yoho and delete both the sups. So we have hatha plus zero plus matru plus zero and then we have the pummad bhava taking place. So hatha plus zero plus matru plus zero. So we get the form hatha matru and not hatha matruka. Then we add the suffix su to it hatha matru plus su and then finally we get the form hatha mata. From Hatamatru to Hatamata, there is a process that is described in the Ajantapullinga section of the Shadlingi Prakarana. Hatamatru plus Su, and we get the finally derived form Hatamata, one whose mother is killed. And then, when the meaning is one whose father is killed, we get the forms Hatapitru as the samasa and hatapita as the prathama ekavachana. Similarly, one whose sister is killed and we get hatasvasru as the samasa output and hatasvasa as the prathama ekavachana. Similarly, one which has a good, good priest and then the word that we have here is suhotru which is the samasa and suhota is the prathama ekavachana of suhotru. Let us now proceed to the next sutra, Nadi Tantriyoho Swange. Nadi Tantriyoho Swange. The meaning of the sutra is the following. In the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which ends in the words Nadi and Tantri in the sense of part of the body, the Samasanta Pratyaya cup is not added. I repeat, in the Bahuvrihi Samasa, which ends in the words Nadi and Tantri in the sense of part of the body, the Samasanta Pratyaya cup is not added. This is the negation of 5.4.153 Nadritascha to be specific the word Nadi, which means any word ending in long E and U denoting the Stri Pratyaya. Nadi and Tantri are the two words ending in long E and also denoting the feminine sense 
and hence they become nadi and therefore nadritascha might apply here but because of this sutra now 54159 such an addition is negated the word nadi stands for a tube and tantri stands for a string or vein here is an example the meaning to be conveyed is the body which has many tubes bhavyaha nadyaha yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha so we have bhavi plus jas plus nadi plus jas as the alaukika vigraha and then we get the samasa saudnya and then there is a scope here for nadritascha to add the samasanta pratyaya kap in this case but because of the present sutra nadi tantriyoh swange the samasanta pratyaya kap is not added so we have bhavi plus jas plus nadi plus jas as the alaukika vigraha and kap is not added and so now we get the samasa saudnya we get the pratyavadika saudnya and apply supadhatu pratyavadika yoho and so we delete both the sups so we have bhavi plus 0 plus nadi plus 0 and then we have the pummad bhava bahu plus 0 plus nadi plus 0 and then because the word nadi is in the bahuvrihi samasa so it is upasarjana so we apply the sutra gostriya upasarjanasya and shorten this vowel so we get the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output in the form of bahu nadi then we decide to use it in the sentence and add the suffix su after it so we have bahu nadi plus su and that is bahu nadi hi and what it qualifies is kaya ha the body bahu nadi hi kaya ha the body which has many tubes in contrast with this if we have the meaning to be conveyed namely a pillar which has many tubes remember this is not body not swanga it is a pillar that we have to, we are talking about then we would have added the samasanta pratyaya k and then we get the form bahu nadi k so bahu nadi k stambha a pillar which has many tubes attached to it similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is the neck which has many veins bhavyah tantraha yasyaha sa this is the laukika vigraha so we have the alaukika vigraha namely bhavhi plus jas plus tantri plus jas and then the samasa saudnya takes place now here we don't add the samasanta pratyaya at this stage because it is negated by the present sutra and so then pratyavadika saudnya applies supodhatu pratyavadika yo applies and then we delete both the sups so we have bhavhi plus 0 plus tantri plus 0 and then the pummad bhava takes place and then we have bahu plus 0 plus tantri plus 0 and then when we join them together we get the finally derived bahu vrihi samasa output namely bahu tantri and we add the samasanta pratyaya and then we add the su pratyaya bahu tantri plus su and we get the form bahu tantri hi in contrast when the intended meaning is not a swang but it is a lute then and when the meaning is a lute which has many strings the ka pratyaya would be added and we would get the form bahutantri ka veena bahutantri ka veena the important point to be remember over here is that there is no lengthening of tantri as it does not end in the suffix denoting femininity just as you have gauri where gaura plus e is the in is the derivation history where e stands for femininity and gauri gaura is the pratyavadika something similar does not happen here in tantri tantri itself is the pratyavadika ending in long e because there is no pratyaya the question of shortening it does not arise let us go to the next and final sutra in this particular section and also the pada which is 5.4.160 nishpravanishcha 
the meaning of the sutra is in the bahuvrihi samasa nishpravani the samasanta pratyaya cup is not added i repeat in the bahuvrihi samasa nishpravani the samasanta pratyaya cup is not added what is pravani pravani is weaver's shuttle which means proyate asyam in which weaving is made or pravayanti taya by which weaving is done so now the meaning to be conveyed over here is a cloth or blanket which has gone from the weaver's shuttle which has gone ahead so we have nirgata pravani yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is nir plus su plus pravani plus su then we have the samasa saudnya taking place and then nir plus zero plus pravani plus zero on account of supodhatu pratibadika yoho and so we have nir pravani and then the shortening of pravani happens nir pravani and finally this ra is changed to a uh, visarga and then to sh and we get the form nish pravani then we add the suffix su to it and we get the form nish pravani hi nish pravani is the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output so nish pravani hi means patah nish pravani hi patah piece of cloth or nish pravani hi kambalah what it means is apanita shalakah samaptavanah pratyagraha navakah this is what is kambala apanita shalakah samaptavanah pratyagraha navakah to summarize the samasanta pratyaya is a peculiar operation stated to the bahuvrihi samasa it is added to specific words with specific formal conditions as well as semantic conditions it is also stated optionally after some words and always is after some other words the samasanta pratyaya added to the bahuvrihi samasa has several functions it changes the final form of the compound from vowel ending to consonant ending etc it also acts as a condition for a particular accent and it also acts as a condition for addition of a particular feminine suffix thus we come to the close of the samasanta pratyayas added after the bahuvrihi samasa now next we go to the samasanta adeshas which are stated in this same section in the next lecture these are the references thank you very much